you're not getting one fuel. You're getting any number of blends of fuel. I mean, a water tester is like $10, but not for tuning your car. I mean, that's a joke. And someone's be like, I've been using that for years and it works great. Well, it doesn't work. Kind of touched on the difference between pump E85 and barrel E85. Could you dive into that a little bit more? Yeah, if you're gonna do an E85 tune, you should really just run your car on barrel E85. I mean, if someone's selling an E85 tune, it's not gonna tune it for E85. They're probably gonna tune it for some lower blend that people can actually get like closer to 70% because at the pump, we know that the ethanol is gonna vary between 51 and 83%. So that's really why our company exists is you're not getting one fuel. You're getting any number of blends of fuel. I mean, that's why I stopped doing E85 tunes well over 10 years ago, 15 years ago now is because I saw the problems with that and came up with solutions so you could run any blend and not have to deal with it. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, realistically, if you're gonna, if you want an E85 tune, you just need to get a barrel and run your car on that barrel. You know, otherwise you're gonna get, you know, a flex fuel system or a flex fuel tune. Uh, I mean, there's support now for, I mean, pretty much anything. It's just, if you wanna run E85, it should just be flex fuel. Like that's yeah. just, the, especially if it's a street car, like realistically, no one wants to like have to mess with their car. You wanna just be able to get in and drive it. So, with pump, I mean, there are pumps that are more consistent than others, but they still all change. Yeah, I mean, having fully flex fuel to where you can run any blend, you don't even have to think about it. You just know if you're running more ethanol, you're making more power. And that's all you should be worried about. You shouldn't be thinking, oh no, I got 5% less blend. Now I got to retune my car or take some timing out or add some timing in or forget all that. What a waste of time. It's like range anxiety with an EV. Why give yourself range anxiety, you know, with your car? Just, it needs to be flex fuel and there are ways yeah. to do it. So people talking about things getting all gunked up or whatever, it's like, that's probably most of those stories are gonna be because it's pump, right? Because they got whatever the blend fuel is with the ethanol, that's what you're seeing left over basically. With a, with a barrel E85, most of the time you're gonna be getting, you know, at a minimum like a 93 and ethanol blend at exactly 85% ethanol. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them use a race gas as that other blend. And you know, they each have their own thing, but you're gonna be getting a high quality gasoline product and a pure ethanol product. So you're gonna be getting a really high quality, no questions about what's in their fuel. And that's the thing is a lot of guys that have these ethanol blend tunes, they use this little water tester where you put fuel in it, you put water and you shake it up and it separates. Well, all that other crap we're talking about in pump fuel separates also. So you can be like, oh look, I got 90% ethanol when it's really 70. Cause that's all that other junk that's in the gas lane separating out. I mean, we've seen for years, these little water testers are just utter garbage. They're just nowhere close, so. Can you talk about water testers a little bit too and kind of dive into that more? I mean, a water tester is like $10, but I mean, it's only getting you within 20%. The water tester is designed for dealerships to test the fuel to void warranties. That's the point of the water tester. So if they go, oh, it's not gasoline, it only needs to be whatever, remotely accurate, but not for tuning your car. I mean, that's a joke. And someone's be like, I've been using that for years and it works great. Well, it doesn't work great. There's so many different compounds in gasoline that they're blending with ethanol in E85 and some of that stuff separates more than others, but the gist of it is, is it's gonna look like higher ethanol content than you actually have. We've seen it a bunch. And in fact, you know, we have, you know, folks that work with us that were dealer techs and I've actually worked with them on the factory. You know, they literally have that water tester. That's one of their dealer tools. I've gone over and you know, we've used a sensor on some of that stuff before where they were getting some weird results and it's, yeah, it's, it, they're just nowhere near accurate. I mean, that's why we sell the, I mean, we have tuners that buy the FlexLink from us for that purpose. You know, a lot of times the car will run on a barrel for the ethanol and they'll run on gasoline for the street and they're, they're switching tunes for that. And hey, if that's what they want to do, you know, but I just, I just, I won't do it anymore. So this car is running a pro EFI ECU. We have a FlexLink on this car. So what the FlexLink does is sends an analog ethanol content signal to the ECU. And then the ECU has the flex fuel mapping in it. And so what it can do, what it also does is, so it has analog outputs, but it also has a Bluetooth or wireless connectivity. So your phone can actually tell you what your content and fuel temperature is. A lot of people just like using that. It'll also like take you to your nearest E85 station. So you can open it up and go to the map. It'll locate you. 
view and it'll show you stations around you. Know, it doesn't have every single station, but to the best of our ability, it has. You know, it'll show you a station around you can go to and get E85. So yeah, the, the FlexLink is just a good option because on a lot of cars, like this generation Corvette, they have like an open pin in the ECU that's for flex fuel signal. You can pin that, you can turn on the flex fuel mapping in there, you know, and you can run E85, but then you really don't know what you have. You're just at the pump and running your car, right? Yeah. So if you want to know what you have, the flex thing, you just open up your phone and you can see it without firing up your laptop and open up ECM scanner with HP tuners to see what your ethanol content is or adding a gauge and having to mount a pod or hey, just fire up your phone and hey, you know, once you fill up and you're driven around a little bit, that's what it is. The flex thing just gives you more flexibility with what yeah. you're using it for, really. It, it's not the controller. It just takes the digital signal and puts it in analog form, which all ECUs can read. And we have plug and play versions of that for or, you know, all the GM ECU vehicles. The standalone ones aren't plug and play because they all wire differently. How every standalone wires differently, but you just run one wire to your ECU, you know, tell your ECU that that signal is ethanol content and it goes from there. Yeah, you know, usually they have that pre mapped. Why did you go from doing your map switching on cars like your Evo and stuff like that and go into making AFD with like making those ProFlex Commander kits. Yeah, I mean, well, once I saw the benefit of E85, like how much power you can make, it was like a no brainer. I mean, that's why people want to do it. It's cheap and you make a bunch of power. It doesn't matter if you're NA or turbo, you make more power with the 85 it's great. But having to tune for it, hit it, and the blend is off and deal with it on a day to day sucks. I wanted to make it so easy that grandma can get in my car and drive it for a week. Doesn't matter. I don't be like, don't put this fuel in it, don't do that. There's nothing to mess with. I wanted to make it just like a bolt on, like putting a colder intake on. You just plug it in and you do it. And my whole goal there was to, I was so sick of messing with map switching and my blend was wrong and having to retune it and all that. I mean, at least with map switching, I could just hold down a button in my car and switch over. I didn't have to bust out the laptop, but then still the blend wouldn't be correct. So I'd still have to get out the laptop. And I can't believe that people still do that these days, honestly. You know, not every car is like a full build with a standalone and everything, yeah. right? And so that's what I meant is I wanted to make Flex Fuel a bolt on, something that pretty much anyone could do and you could run E85. Mm -hmm. Like the, that's the point of the Commander. The Commander is supposed to be a simple way to run E85. If you have a full build, probably gonna run a standalone, like that's where like the flex link comes into play. You know, like we run this on barrel E85 from time to time. Like when we have it, we're gonna be racing the car and it, it's really just for the performance aspect. We were running the race at the Big Ben Open Road Race and I didn't know if I had enough fuel to get back to the hotel. So I, I just put two gallons of gas in it, drove, like whatever, you know, didn't even, doesn't matter. And then I knew we had the race the next morning, so I filled it the rest of the way up with ethanol. Just doesn't matter. Yeah, I wasn't like, oh no, I'm stranded. Oh, let me drain the tank. No, no forget all that. Just yeah. use your car. That was the whole thing was just, I wanted to make it that simple, but there's just, it's just a no brainer. And it seems weird that people can't grasp that it's that simple. You know, if you have a Hellcat or E46 M3, a Mustang, whatever it is, you know, like just run whatever you want. You're just gonna be able to tell the difference on ethanol. And we don't make a commander for every car, but for those ones that we do, you know, it's just, it's that simple. You're gonna pick up power. That was the whole point. Do you think AFD will ever get to the point where there is a brand new car comes out and there's already a ProFlex commander for it? That's kind of what we've been doing, but for the OEs, yeah. right? When there's a region that there's incentive for the customer or tax incentives, but they don't make that car flex fuel, that's, we've been providing those for the OEs. Now, the enthusiast market doesn't really care about those vehicles. And so our time has been shifted towards these OE, you know, applications. Then we'll just sell, you know, flex links and sensors and support.